Hello. Hi. Whee! Uh, not too long ago, my mum provided me with a photocopy of a letter I wrote to Santa when I was about seven years old. Obviously, the real letter got sent on to him yeah. at primary school, so I would photocopy it. Um, it's a great flashback. Uh, just really good penmanship. Uh, Dear Santa, <laughs> I hope you're a good, very polite child. Give him what he wants. Uh, please, manners, can I get a Transformer for Christmas, or Optimus Prime, or an Autobot, uh, mini basketball, 72 pack of Derwins. That's not a lot to ask for. Uh, thank you, Hamish D, because for a while I was calling myself Hamish D. <laughs> that seems like the kind of kid you would give an Optimus Prime to. Mm. But he didn't. He, he never, never did. He never said yeah. Transformer. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So we went back to Scandinavia <laughs> to take this up with Santa. We headed back to freezing Finland because I had beef with the world's most famous delivery man, Santa Claus. It's been almost 23 years, Ando. And I hope he's had fun because his life on the run comes to an end now. Well, I'm not sure if he's on the run. I think they're always hiding out. I think there'll be a perfectly good explanation. Tucked away on the edge of the Arctic Circle is Santa's village, and even his reindeer knew we arrived with hostile intentions. Very heavy. Oh, yep. Okay. Hello. All right. Yep. Let's not do that. Thank Again. you, Donna. But we found the front door, and Haim was keen to kick it down. Oh. <laughs> The pool. Hame had gone a bit too early because this was just the front door for the main post office of Santa and we were met by some lovely elves. So all the letters come to here? To this place, exactly. About 600,000 every year. 600,000 600, letters? 600,000 letters every year. Can we see the letters? Of course you can. So we were taken through to where my letter would have arrived many years ago and we were allowed to look through some of the 15.5 million letters that have been sent to Santa since the post office opened. And this one is Dear Farter Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Give them whatever they want. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think it's a misspell. But anyway, please can I have the following things for Christmas, then a cola, and then it goes on to quite the list. My God. 200 <laughs> items! It keeps going, 227. <laughs> 285, 310, 310, 340, 340, 350. 350. The last item is a grocery, grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> so we can just get more stuff. <laughs> These are the essential things I would like in my stocking. But not all the letters were like Nicholas's. I've been a really good boy, I've been really well behaved. I'd like to either get a scooter or a small dragon toy. Thanks for all you do for me and all the children around the world love Kyle. That's really sweet. That's sweet. Um, what does Nick Nicholas want? A businessman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's we'll do another quick comparison. A little random sample from around the world. Uh, from Isabella. I'm so happy this year because my mother took me to the United States, so I'm not asking for anything. Here's my home address. So oh, didn't even ask for anything. She just said, sorry, didn't want to be greedy. Wow. That's really beautiful. Let's compare that to item 207, James Bond's Aston Martin. <laughs> Not as much fun as it was reading through Nick's huge list of demands. We were on a mission. Are we able to meet the big guy today? Santa? You are able to meet him. This was it. My showdown with St Nick. I'd waited 23 years for this, but was I ready? I know it's probably silly taking on Santa at his home ground. He's got Prancer and Blitzen and Steve and Greg and all the other ones, but <laughs> they got a couple of mates too. Justice and honesty. I named him a mittens. We have to walk a bit. Oh, we have to walk a bit? Yeah. Oh my God, it's amazing. It might blow your mind. We entered Santa's cave. It seemed more creepy than Christmassy, and the tension got to Andy. Mate, I don't want to go in. This is your battle. We've come a long way. Mate, it's your. I can only take you this far. It's okay, you're not a real Sherpa, it's just a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this. You can do it, Hamish. You can do it. If the real life actual elves thought I could do it, I also knew I could do it. Oh. Oh. Your Chris Majesty. <laughs> well done to Arctic Circle. So Haim was inside while I sat nervously. Had Haim fly kicked him in the face? Had Santa got Haim in a headlock? Would he even have the guts to ask about the Transformer? I wanted Optimus Prime, but I did not get it. <laughs> I remember there was some problem a few weeks before Christmas. Good but I, I have now some special surprise for you this year. It's been ages. Do you like... Uh, Game Boy, Nintendo, PlayStation, computer, Xbox, and Wii. All of them? All of them. You like? Really? Yes, yes, yes. Do you know what, Santa? Actually, since being here, I've realised maybe that's not what Christmas is about. Maybe it's not all about Game Boys and Xboxes and PlayStations and Nintendos. So maybe 
I just take the Xbox. <laughs> Anna! Hi. Oh, how'd you go? Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, he's awesome. Did you get the Transformer? <sighs> no, I'm getting an Xbox. What? Let's get out of here. What are you doing in there? Oh, it was really weird. I was dancing. <laughs> and then I tried to invent a new handshake. Uh, <laughs> great. I'd come all the way here for Haim to now be best friends with Santa. Thank God Haim slipped over. Now, 